Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Jopic. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how I got um, the kind of high FKDR I have. So if you don't know, my FKDR is, first off, really weird. I have a, like 11.88 FKDR, um, and the only mode that my FKDR is above like 8 in is solo, which it's like 13.5 or something in solo. And then in all of the other modes, it's like 7, which is kind of funny. Um... Because I, 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 if you look at almost anybody's stats, their lowest mode is almost always solo. Just because solo is like the most, the most random. Um, uh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Anyway, so yeah, that that's that's kind of how my stats are, which is a little bit weird because like, again, it's it's just unexpected, I guess, but. I guess most solo mains are like that if they haven't played the other modes or if they did play the other game modes like before they kind of became a solo main. Um, like a lot of my friends that just play solo have similar stats. Um, what is happening in this fight? Like there's so much going on. This guy's just crazy. Um, here, now we get it. There we go. Um, that, that's fine. So, so yeah, I got a, I got a, like a, an 11.88 FKDR, and I wanted to talk about how I actually achieved that. I think the title will be 10 plus is probably what it's going to say. Um, cause I don't know being like how I got an 11.88 FKDR. It doesn't look as good. Okay. 10 is such a nice number. And I feel like 10 is like a, it's a really good FKDR to like strive for. You know what I mean? But like 11.88, okay. Like, sure. I don't know. It's not, it just doesn't look that great on paper. Or I guess on a on a video title. There's no paper involved. Anyway. Um, so to talk about this, I wanted to go back a little bit and then tell a little story of, of, of the previous times, of the old times of Bed Wars back in 2018. So if you don't know, I played Bed Wars in like 2017 and 18, so pretty much from when it released until Fortnite got popular. That was, I, I, I played Bed Wars a lot during that time. And um, back then, if you don't know, uh, especially a little bit later, like, like January, yeah, January, February, March of that year of 20, uh, 2018, uh, back then, the biggest guild in the game was called No Life, and that was Gamer Boy 80's guild. And pretty much everybody wanted to join it, okay? Anybody anybody who sweated Bed Wars, one of their biggest goals, join No Life. If you could join No Life, you were you were like certified as a good player, as a as a No Life, I guess. Um, and I like many others, also really wanted to join it. Because, again, this was like... this was, It was just... It was the kind of thing you wanted to, like, strive for. You know what I mean? This guy just lagged out and now he's floating. Poor guy. Anyway. Um, guy had some stuff, though. That's nice. I'll buy this. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I really wanted to join No Life. It was one of my one of my biggest goals back then. And did it ever happen? No. But I did hit a 10 FKDR eventually, and obviously I hit a hundred star back then. So I already had one of the two requirements. I probably applied back then and was like, well, I have one of them, so eh, can you invite me, guys, please? Because I probably was like, I don't know. I was young anyway. Oh jeez, no! I almost played that really poorly, but we're we're good. Um, the jump and speed helps a lot, man. Um, okay, now it's just red. I'm gonna buy more jump and speed. Hold on, maybe like a bridge egg as well. A couple. Okay. Um, back to talking about how I got a 10 FKDR though. Pretty much, that's just, it, it's kind of cool hitting it, though, finally, or when I did, because, dude, it was, I, I was like, oh my god, I could hypothetically join No Life now. I mean, I couldn't, because it doesn't really exist anymore, I mean, it, like, technically does, but it isn't what it was, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I don't really feel like, I mean, there's obviously, like, top guilds right now, like, um, 
I don't know, like, cross map has most of the top players and stuff like that, but there's nothing quite like no life. I mean, this was everybody who was good at the game. They were all in no life, you know what I mean? I mean, now you look at the leaderboard and people are in, people are in a ton of different guilds. And back in these days, everybody was just in no life. It was great. It was beautiful, kind of, to be honest. I'm just playing Apollo again, okay? I, I don't care. Anyway, um... How did I get it, though? I don't know. I, I, I can't really say anything. Um, the best way to improve your FKDR is to get a lot of final kills without getting very many final deaths. It's pretty much that simple. Um, if you're... The higher your FKDR is in any given session, or, like, the higher your, your daily, weekly, monthly FKDR is, the higher it's gonna... The quicker it's gonna make your actual FKDR higher. So, it's not really a tip, because that's just kind of, like, math... Like, it doesn't really give you any, uh, give you any way to get better at the game. But, yeah, I guess th that's probably the best way to, like, I don't know. Again, improve isn't really the right word. More just, like, change it quickly? I don't know. Anyway. Um, for a long time, though, my FKDR was, it was at, like, three for a while, and that was back... Back in, like, my 2018 era of Bed Wars. Um, so back when Bed Wars was new, I I stuck around a 3FKD... Or a 3... Yeah, a 3FKDR for quite a while back then. Um, it wasn't actually that long in terms of playtime. Because I was only, what, like a 150 star may maybe? Probably more like 120, honestly. Um, and then I just got some more levels over the years of, like, occasionally playing. Anyway, um, but yeah, I was only, like, a 120 star, probably, when I quit, um, back in 2018, which I kind of regret, because, I mean, dude, imagine if I was making these videos that I'm making right now for, like, five years Well, like, Minecraft blew up and everything. Oh, my God. It would be amazing. Anyway, but whatever. Can't regret the past. You know what I mean? Um, that being said, so I got, I got, a. For a long time, though, I was around like three FKDR. Now, I'm at like I'm, I, I'm it's getting higher. And I used to have a thing where it would pretty much go up like one every prestige. That doesn't really happen anymore. So it was like when I hit 200 star, it was at around four, and then 300 star was at like five, etc., etc. And it just eventually got to where it is today. Um, I don't know if it goes up by one every time now. I feel like from like 800 to a thousand star hasn't been going up super fast which is like understandable and i don't really care because i mean it's it's not like it's low even if i had like a six fkdr i think i would be like happy enough you know it's not really what i like go for when i'm grinding the game i just kind of i just kind of go for like solo wins and getting a higher level getting getting a higher prestige you know um so yeah i don't i'd never really like it's not what i think about i guess while i'm playing and actually i'll talk about that a little bit I don't think that going for a high FKDR should be your goal when playing Bed Wars. And um I just I just think that it's not it's not like the most impressive achievement. I think that it's much much less impressive to go and get a um get a high FKDR on an alt than just have a high level account as a main. Like I would way rather if somebody's like a three FKDR with a thousand star, I find that even though it maybe I guess like takes less skill, I find that infinitely more impressive than um, being a what would it be like being a like fifty star with like a two hundred FKDR. It's like okay, okay, you probably Q dodged that entire time. It's not it's not that cool, man. Anyway, I'm probably gonna get all of the. Uh, all the FKDR alt sniping me now that I've said that. Please don't. I'm just trying to make, just trying to record commentaries, man. Anyway, not actually. I don't really get sniped, luckily. Um, maybe a couple times when I've actually like grinded the game a lot. That being said, though. Hello there, sir. Goodbye there, sir. Um, that's pretty much it, though. I just, I just thought I'd make a video about like how I actually achieve this, and I, I, I can't really give a great reason. In conclusion, because, like, I don't know, it just happened after playing for a while. It just kind of happened eventually. Um, oh. 
I don't know. I also remember this is I'll say this in the lobby actually. Um but one time I had like an amazing week. I think I got like 250 to 300 solo wins and only took like 10 losses. That helped my FKDR quite a bit. That was like summer 2021 if I remember correctly. I don't know. Speaking of win streaks, ooh, 10. Wowie, I've never actually gotten that before. Anyway, um everybody say in the comments say hi to Phantom Knee. Okay. Um and I'll, I'll heart your comment. I mean, I heart most anyways, unless they say something, like, confusing or YouTube deletes them, which YouTube deletes a lot, okay? Like, I, I get the notification for some, and I'm like, oh, that's so funny, and then I go, and it's just gone, because YouTube hates everything. Anyway, um, just kidding. I love YouTube. What a what a um, W platform. Anyway, okay, I'll see you next time. I love you. Take care of yourselves. You know, like and subscribe, press the buttons, follow all my other socials, join the Discord. That's also a thing. And um, also, there there will be some like goal at some point in the video that I'll probably put in like thirty second mark sometime around there. And if and when that happens, you should I don't know you 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 already saw it. You're at the end of the video, but go for that amount of likes. I don't know what it'll be because I haven't edited yet. Okay, I love you. See you next time. Goodbye. Mwah.